Welcome in Kariboni to Aroma of Zanzibar. Today I'm going to be making caramel bread pudding. Now I'm using eight slices of white bread. You could use whole wheat if you wish. And I've removed the crust. You can keep the crust if you wish and the bread should be stale. That's better. And ideally if you have a dry blender that can blend this, you can blend this into nice fine crumbs. If you don't, then you can do like what I'm doing. So I'm basically trying to slice this into the smallest pieces that I can. You can also use your finger and uh, mash it up or get some nice crumbs. And uh, I'm going to use two cups of whole milk and I have warmed the milk. Now, if you're going to you blend your bread into crumbs, you do not need to use warm milk. So I just added the milk and I'm going to let it sit aside for about five minutes for the bread to soak in. After that, you're just going to stir it vigorously to make sure that there are no lumps and the bread is completely dissolved. And uh, I have used a half a cup of sugar. You can add more if you want. And four eggs, which are room temperature. And a quarter teaspoon of uh, cardamom powder. You can use nutmeg. And I'm using vanilla essence, which is very strong. So I've used about uh, three drops. But if you're using extract, you can use quarter teaspoon to half a teaspoon. All right. So just going to mix it well and keep it aside. Now we are going to start making the caramel sauce. So I used about half a cup of sugar and quarter cup of water. You can use the same ratio, half a cup of sugar and half a cup of water. And on medium heat, I normally do not stir my caramel sauce, but if you wish to stir it, please go ahead and do. And I also added a pinch of cardamom, which is totally optional. And please make sure you stay around because I almost burnt my caramel sauce and I'll tell you why. All right, so just going to pour this into these uh, small balls, but you can use a large uh, bowl or pan if you want to, an 8 inch or 9 inch or whatever size that you desire. All right. So I got about five of these portions and uh, I just spread them and I'm going to add my mixture. Now I'll tell you why my caramel sauce almost got burnt was because I forgot to add one tablespoon of melted butter into my bread mixture. So I had to go melt it and I left my caramel sauce in the kitchen. All right. So please don't forget to add one tablespoon of melted butter. And also, if you wish to use any kind of nuts, please go ahead and do so. So I just used uh, the, uh, so, uh, the raisins and the pistachios in two. And the rest I did not use because you know, some people don't like nuts, but I love nuts. Okay, so once that's done, I'm just going to cover this with um, foil paper. Uh, you want to cover this well so that uh, the water does not get into the dessert while it's uh steaming we are going to steam this in the oven and uh, please make sure that the oven is on 180 degrees celsius that's about uh, 356 fahrenheit I'm just gonna slit some holes there for the steam to come out and uh, then i add some water i used a little bit hot water to pour in to give it a kick start okay and when you cook when you steam these in the oven it's going to take about 20 to 25 minutes not long because you don't want it to be too hard also and dry all right and you want to fill up your water halfway so i just put it in the oven now for those of you who are not who do not have ovens you can do it in a pan and if you have something like this to lift it up and then you keep your dessert and add the water but if you're cooking this on the stove it will take about 40 to 45 minutes all right so this is ready and just let it cool keep it in the fridge and we will be ready to serve our bread pudding so this is ready as you can see it's already released from the side and uh, i'm just gonna release it on the other side with a little knife or you can uh, uh, use a warm towel on the side and it will release all right and just flip it over and 
And that's it. You see how beautiful this is? And just nice and soft and firm. And also silky inside. So thank you so much for more recipes. Please visit me at Aroma on Sanjiba. You'll find all the measurements and ingredients in the description box below and also on this very last page. Thank you so much.